What's up, guys, and welcome to my review for Ambulance. This is the new Michael Bay movie that, look, you might see a Michael Bay movie this this day and age and say, it's all explosions, it's too much uh, ex explosions and nonsense going on on the screen. The, the previous Transformers movies are a big example of that. But then you can watch other films like him that he makes, like uh, The Pain and Gain or the, the 13 Hours of Benghazi. You know, he's hit or miss. And I didn't know how I was going to feel about this movie. The trailers, I thought, look, this, this could be interesting. I found out the thing was over two hours long. That's that's always going to be like, well, I wonder if this movie earns that runtime, uh, seeing that it is Michael Bay, and he, he makes two-and-a-half-hour Transformers movies that makes you feel like you're, you're watching your brain melt before your eyes. But what I'll tell you about this is um, I did thoroughly enjoy this movie. Uh, I thought it was very good. I thought it was very entertaining. And I thought this is one of Michael Bay's best directorial efforts. Uh, I think this is a movie that's, that's you know, two hours and like 16 minutes or whatever it is. It, it, it sort of flies by. This kind of reminded me of the film Speed, uh, where we're on the, 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 the bus that can't slow down. Uh, that very much felt like this ambulance that can't slow down. I mean, it, it eventually does, but, I mean, throughout the film, you're watching it, it did remind me of that Keanu Reeves film. And this one stars Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, Yahya Abdul-Martin II, who I believe was in the new Candyman film. He seems very familiar. Uh, Eliza Gonzalez plays the EMT cam in the film, and uh, they're basically the three leads uh, Yaya's character, uh, he he has this family. He wants to pay for this surgery. It's too expensive, and when his when his uh, brother calls upon him, uh, or he calls upon his brother to help him out, he gets sucked into this situation where he f is in a spot where he could come out with a lot of money, but at what cost and what's going to happen? Uh, he's a great driver, uh, a war veteran. And there's just a lot playing in with his head where Jake Gyllenhaal is a professional uh, thief. He's a, he's, a, he's a robber. He's been doing this for, for his life. And uh, he's, he's one of the best of the best. So that leads to some really entertaining scenes of this heist to, to get the money and then to get in this ambulance and, and hijack the thing where, like I said, Elysia uh, Gonzalez or Isa Gonzalez... Uh, however the hell you pronounce her name, she is the EMT, she's the woman in this ambulance, and, uh, you know, she's the hostage of the movie, she's the damsel in distress, if you will, but she does hold her own, she does some crazy things in the film uh, that get kind of bloody, I won't spoil what they are, but there's some things that you watch and, and you're just like, wow, this is crazy what's happening, but it was all very entertaining, and I thought the three leads did very good. Uh, I think Yaya's character is the heart and soul of the film. I think they try to give some emotional depth to the EMT character as well, and Jake Gyllenhaal is just being crazy in the film. He, he has a lot of funny lines, a lot of funny stuff to, to say in the film in these crazy situations. Uh, so the, the character stuff really worked. I thought it was really entertaining. I've heard a lot about the visual effects being questionable in this. I thought the effects were fine. I thought it looked good. A big gripe I have with it is there's a lot of shaky cam. And I know there's a lot of stuff with drone shots, but there's also a lot of shaky cam stuff. And uh, you, you can tell, particularly in the first half of the movie, there's a lot shaking around. And uh, it, it just feels like you're, you're kind of being put in a washing machine at certain times. But uh, look, other than that and the ending being a little sappy, a little drawn out, the last five minutes maybe could be the ending to a Hallmark film. Uh you know, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. But other than that, I think this is a thoroughly entertaining movie, and it did what it set out to do, uh, which was entertain us at this at this sort of suspense thriller. And I think it, it achieved that. Uh, other than, like I said, the ending being a little sappy, some of the shaky cam, uh, some maybe ridiculous things that happen within it. If we're going to go to nitpicks, but look, this is a four out of five movie for me, and uh, I'd watch it again. Hopefully this will get a steelbook, 4K steelbook, and uh, I'll, I'll be picking it up because I did, uh, I did uh, thoroughly enjoy this one. And uh, that's a surprise because uh, I didn't know how I would feel about it going in. But, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on Ambulance. Guys, comment your thoughts. 
down below. Do you plan on seeing the movie? Did you see it already? What are your thoughts about Michael Bay's movies? What's your favorite Michael Bay film? This might be my favorite film of his to date. I haven't seen all of his movies, but what I've seen, I think this might take the, the cake. Uh, you know, I do really enjoy Transformers 1 and 3. 2, 4, and 5, I don't care for. But the first and the third one, actually, I think the third one's my favorite. So it's it's that or this uh, th that I think is going to top the cake for me. But uh, guys, also don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more reviews coming in the future. Just posted a review for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Go ahead on over and check that out. And also, guys, you can follow me on Instagram, King Arises 131 and on Twitter, RyanKing72. More on those in the description of this video. And that's about it for me. Thank you so much for watching my review for Ambulance. And until next time, over and out.